Bianca's devotion. Reverse. Oh! <gasps> Is that a special illustration rare? What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the pull rates on the newest set Temporal Forces. Very excited to get into this opening but real quick of course I did want to let you know that it's been a while. Uh, it's been about two months since I last posted and it has been an absolute roller coaster those past couple months. I've been getting ready for the biggest move of my life moving across four different states, all the way to Montana from California. And also I ended up getting sick, of course, right when we were leaving for the 18 hour drive. So it has been absolutely chaotic. Um, we're just getting settled in. You can kind of tell with the audio probably that it's a little echoey in here. But anyways, I don't wanna bore you with that. And I do wanna just get straight into this opening. But first, and I'll go ahead and leave a timestamp if you want to skip to the opening part, but I did just kind of want to show you guys what I've got set up so far with my uh, kind of backdrop here and uh, what the studio is looking like so far. So let's flip this camera around and show you around. But like I said, there's that timestamp. So if you want to skip to the pack opening, there it is. So this is the shelf that I'm going to be using for my backdrop. I've got some stock here. Uh, as well as some plushes. Check out Slowpoke. I know Riley absolutely adores the Slowpoke. We've also got some binders there. And uh, yeah, just a ton of my favorite slabs. As you guys know, I love the Evolutions, specifically Vaporeon and Umbreon. And uh, you may notice that I actually don't have my CGC Pristine 10 here. And that is because it is off grading with Beckett or soon to be off grading with Beckett. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get that black label because it looks perfect. But uh, kind of my theme going with this was it starts off with Eevee and then it spreads off into the evolutions that we know and love. And uh, of course my favorites being in the front here. I absolutely love this Delta species. Super, super cool hollow pattern on that card. The fact that I have that in a nine is awesome because that was from a really old collection that was not even in sleeves. This really cool Japanese Umbreon, as well as one of my favorite artworks, the Japanese Jungle, which by the way, I finally got in English. I ended up picking it up on Whatnot just recently. By the way, shameless plug, check out the link below for $10, $15 actually for your first purchase on Whatnot. But I grabbed this on Whatnot, so look out for a video soon for that in the English. I also picked up this, which I believe I did a short if you didn't see that. Make sure to check out for our shorts and uh, push notifications because we post shorts all the time. This is a really, really unique card. This is a really unique card right here. This is from the World Championship 2019 Participation. And uh, I ended up snagging this in a 7.5. There was like ungraded copies of this selling uh, upwards of $1,300 to $1,800 just a year ago. So that was kind of a crazy uh, story on that one that we'll have to talk about at some point in the future. We also got some honorable mentions and some cool cards here. Also, I've got some Pikachu as well, just because I've got so many Pikachu cards that are super cool and the hollow pattern looks amazing on those. These are just some really unique cards. Uh, this one is unique. This one is just super cool. I love Arceus and that is an awesome pristine 10. So this, this card right here, I love the back of this card. It is so unique and super awesome. Uh, 1998, one of the oldest Pokemon cards that I own, which is the Pokemon Machine, which you can kind of see right there. It looks like Charmander's on the bottom left there. I think the middle might be Squirtle, and then next is Bulbasaur. Kind of hard to tell because of the artsy style there. Um, but this is just an absolutely awesome card. You can see right there, Uyama Pocket Monsters card game. And uh, really cool, unique card there. So, uh, as well as the graded cards, we do have a couple pops here, um, as well as Snorlax, just kind of, you know, sleeping on the edge there. Um, 
And then we've got some of the kind of just cards that I have in my PC, like the, the sealed stuff that I have in my PC. A really huge fan of Lost Origin and Silver Tempest. I'm a big believer in those sets, and I think that they have great potential for the future. So I've also got some just kind of like, you know, you ever just get a fixin' for opening up some Pokemon packs? Um, well, that's basically what I have here. Just a couple booster boxes of Scarlet and Violet base set and uh, Obsidian Flames, because why not? Also got these guys that I picked up recently. These, uh, this is the, I forget exactly what it was called, but um, they have a little string that pulls them apart and then, or you pull apart and then it uh, just reconnects afterwards. And uh, it always brings them back together because poor little Pichu is so sad. And um, yeah, and then we've got Slowpoke down there and the binder. So that's everything with this right here. I've also got these uh, shelves here up for the comic book wall. As some of you may know, I work at a comic book shop, so kind of just comes with um, comes with the business. I uh, kind of can't help myself with collectibles, and I love Spider-Man, I love Star Wars, and I love One Punch Man, as well as My Hero Academia, so... Anyways, that's just, uh, that's just that right there, which is the comic book wall. And uh, yeah, otherwise everything's kind of uh, in shambles, you know. This is my current PC setup. Um, I'm planning on borrowing Riley's computer setup for editing this, but uh, I got these two absolutely massive monitors, which are like insane. Um, but yeah, no, so we're gonna get straight into, not, not straight into it, but we're gonna get into the temporal force. By the way, guys, let me know what you think about this sort of like vlogging style. Um, very interested to hear your thoughts on that. Also, I forgot to give love to Paldean Whooper. Sorry, buddy. We love you. All right, Tapora Forces opening. Let's get into it. All right, guys, time for the pack opening part of this video. Also, I just want to apologize in advance for the, the lighting and... Uh, you know, just kind of the camera angle here. Like I said, we're still getting set up. And, um, you know, it's gonna take time. So, we got these Temporal Forces Booster Bundles, which, by the way, why do they keep changing how these things look? Does anyone else know why? Because these used to be like half the size. They used to just be like that big. Um, but now they're like a little mini booster box. It kind of reminds me of the Japanese booster boxes. Oh, okay. I've never actually opened one of these before. Okay, so it opens from the back, note to self, and there you go. So uh, do we have six packs? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, pretty hard for them to mess that up, I suppose. Um, okay, cool, so we've got the Raikou pack art, looking like a dinosaur, and then we've got the Verizian, the Raikou, the Cobalion looking guy, I forget what his name is, I do not know what that Pokemon's name is either. Pokemon is getting a little bit crazy. All right, first pack, guys. We also do have a, another booster bundle, so let's see. What do you guys think? You think the first booster bundle will win, or this one? Comment down below. Also, Riley's gonna be getting involved, as she always does when Pokemon packs are involved. It's good to be back, code card for the peeps. It's good to be back, and um, with a Pokemon opening as well, and also the fact that uh, not only is it a Pokemon opening, but it's a new set, Great Tusk, and Mariadon. Very nice. Um, and like, how else to get back into the flow of things than to, um, by the way, how do you want to do it? Do you want to, do you want to open up this booster bundle and I'll open up all of this? Sure. We'll kind of do it to, as a battle, okay. All right, I think my booster bundle is gonna win just because I extremely competitive. <laughs> so, um, no, what a better way to get back into the flow of things than uh, to open up some good old fashioned Pokemon cards. Snom, she loves the Snom. Oh, that's a cute Pikachu card as well. Check that out. Uh, Scyther, I love Scyther. 
and a brand new set of that, which by the way, this set looks awesome. Licky tongue, Fluttermane. Okay, so that's what they're calling Mystery Bis. Um, I actually, by the way guys, I actually pre-ordered this set. I pre-ordered two ETBs uh, from the Pokemon Center website. And uh, unfortunately, because of because of the move, oh, almost forgot the code card. Because of the move, I uh, had to cancel the order, and um, I didn't know how to change the address at all. So it's uh, it's unfortunate. Turtonator, what? The? I've never seen him look like that before. Bronzong, ancient booster energy. Ponita, Maril. Ooh, first hit of temporal forces. Iron Crown EX. And the fire energy. Yeah, future type. So he's like all electronic and stuff. Very, very cool. I don't even know where we have sleeves. Pause. We got to find sleeves. All right, we got the sleeves, guys. And oh, got to look at the Pokemon card, not the camera. So, so far, we got Iron Crown EX uh, after three packs. Let's see what we can do for these last three packs. I really want to see a special illustration rare. I have no idea what the pull rates are like for this set, let alone the ooh, Carvana Unana. Um, let alone what the booster bundle is like. Because booster bundles, you know, I don't know. Might be a little bit different than uh, your old fashioned ETB. Ooh, very nice. Oh my gosh, look at the texture on that. That is like really super textured. That is super cool. So that is the two silver star, 186 out of 162 iron leaves. Okay, so it's not iron valiant, my bad. That definitely deserves a sleeve. That is super, super cool. I really, really like that card. I don't know any values on this set, but that is really, really cool. I love the, I love the blue and the dots in the background. Wow. All right, so far, pretty good actually, I, I would say. We're four packs in and, uh, you know, two hits, not bad, not too shabby. Code card for the peeps. Snom, once again, making an appearance. I'm switching hands here, I don't know what's going on. Mudbray, Minchino, we got Sinchino earlier. Completing the evolution line. Morty, Morty. Licky Licky, Croconaw, and Whimsy Cot. Little cotton ball, what you doing here? All right, last pack. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic for the future Cobalion. Which I don't know what it is. There we go. Do, what? Do, do Ocean. Ooh, Haunter, right, I forgot that Gengar. Is like a, oh, Ghastly, oh my gosh. Dude, is this Ghastly, Haunter, are we about to get the Gengar? Full evolution line? Come on. Oh, I think I see something. Oh, dude, that was, okay, that's still really, really cool. Fairy Giraffe, that's really cool. That reminds me of the little, like, um, Wrecking Ball thing from uh, Super Mario Bros. That jabated me actually. When I saw the silver bottom, I could have sworn that was gonna be like a special illustration rare, if that's what they're calling them nowadays. All right, so let's see what Riley can do. I uh, got three hits out of six packs and um, super cool iron leaves. Looks really solid on the centering as well. Very cool. All right, Riley, let's see what you can do. Okay, here we go. All right, Riley, do you have any predictions for... Oh my gosh, I should have cut it before you, before you did that. <laughs> any predictions going into your six packs here? Um, I feel like this is probably a tougher set, so probably either the same or worse pull rate. It is, it is really hard. Yeah, that tricked me too, because it's flipped yeah. on the other side. Let's see, which pack do I want first? Um, hmm. This one's calling my name. Hopefully it's easy to open. 
I I really want the uh, the Gengar artworks in this set. Art. I think they're super cool. I'm I know there's a full art one. There might be a special illustration. By the way, I gotta I gotta back up out of here because I'm causing shadows here. I'm the shadow, like Gengar. See that? I honestly, oh, that one's cute. I don't even care if you beat Gen. me. I honestly, I hope Gen. you beat me. You know what? For Actually, I don't. Shaman. I Fortress. Win. I want to win. Colossal. Ooh, nice little. Colossal. Reverse. Yeah. The reverse. And, oh. Maridon. Hey, Maridon. We both started off with Maridon. How cool. What are the chances of that? I'm not sure. I don't know, guys. All right. Future, future Kobalion. Very cool looking pack. Remember, uh, throwback for anyone who's watched our shorts. Throwback to when we inserted the prime and uh, got some hits. Let's see if it can work again. Good Not a sponsor. Ew, ugly. <gasps> Don't say that, Carvana. Cute. Puccina, cute. Cute. Uh, I don't even know what I'm looking You're at. You're them on cute. Oh, Iron, Val oh, Iron Valiant. That's what Iron Valiant is. Ugly. Reverse. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, still don't know what I'm looking at. Oh. And really you know what? That one's kind of cool. Honestly, I think I think you messed it up when you started calling Pokemon ugly. Oh. You gotta be nice. Be nice. Because everyone's beautiful in their own aspects. Another future Cobalion. It's what's on the inside that matters. Oh. Here we go, this is way easier. And I especially believe that to be the case when it comes to ice cream sandwiches. Because <laughs> I love the ice cream part of an ice cream sandwich. You showing all the code cards? Yes. Very nice. Elgium. Meltan. Meltan. Cute. Meltan's cute. Nuzzly. Meltan's cute. Mancino. Mancino's cute. Shiftry. So Shiftry's Bianca's Devotion. Yeah, just cute. Oh. oh, so that's what it looks like? Whoa. Greenless. I've never seen the... I've never seen the evolution line of that thing. Yeah. Roselia. I want to keep that one. Okay. Cotton tea. Or cotton-y. Ooh, Drampa. Drampa the Grandpa. I like I Are like you three these. packs in right now? Um, actually, I'm four. No, you got a third one up to the left. Oh, I... Yeah. So three packs in, and um, not a single. So hit. far, nothing crazy from Riley, but you might be saving the best for last. Although notoriously, when me and Riley have pack battles, uh, she well, you know what? It's about time. It's a uh, new year, and uh, things could turn around for you. Yeah. Okay. So whatever this is. Yeah, I don't know still, but somebody will somebody will kindly comment it down below probably. You you fool! That is clearly the future something something. Their code cards are always changing. That's the future iron hair. You didn't know that? Oh, I think I just spoiled, spoiled it. it. Yeah. Dude, I wasn't paying attention. The last time that happened, it was crazy. Also, it's not in frame. Get in frame. Bianca's Devotion. Reverse. Oh! <gasps> Is that a special illustration rare? Oh my gosh. Oh. Guys, that looks really, really good. I've, I've got to pause. We got to pause real quick. We got to pause real quick and figure out what this is. Dude, so it is a special illustration rare. We just confirmed a TCG player right here. There it is right there. Oh my gosh, I, I'm literally, I, I'm i going to be honest with you. I've just been so like focused on other things right now that I've not been able to really catch up with this set at all. So I had no idea that that is the, one of the top like five pulls from the entire set. That is like absolutely nutty. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's super cool. I immediately was like, whoa, that is sick. Whatever it is. Well, Nine five. Wait, is that Iron Leaves? Is that Iron Leaves? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we got the full art and special illustration rare of Iron Leaves. That is amazing. Well, I'm not 
I don't know. Maybe maybe I have a chance. Maybe you don't get anything else. And I mean, I did get I did get three hits. So I I don't know. I mean, you know, let's let's keep pulling the packs and we'll we'll see. Dude, leave it in frame, man. We, they want to see it. Pack number five. I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it. Like literally, it's. I mean, I knew it. I knew it could only last so many times. Where it's like, oh, you know, it's a pack battle. Riley's got no chance. But it's changed up for you, and you're very casual about it. Pulling the top number three cards. Litten Shroomish. That's a cute card. Lick a tongue. Charger Bug. I have way too many of those on Pokemon Go. Fearless Jungle. Mm. A lot of shiny um, ones, though. Un Pheasant. Scent is Gorge. Ooh. Um, Whimsica. Mm -hmm. Angel Bush Bundle. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Dude, I thought there was going to be like an ace spec. If there's an ace spec in the last card, I will, I will lose my marbles. I'll scream at the top of my lungs. All right, let's see. The final one. Will you be good to me? Like that one? <laughs> so far, you definitely have quality over quantity. I've got quantity over the quality. Although I do think the full art is pretty cool. Definitely no match for that amazing special illustration rare. That is beautiful. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Mm -hmm. Dude, what are the chances that we just happen to get that, you know? Beldum. I feel like I'm always talking about the chances in... Uh... Rolly Coley. Mm. Super glary, by the way. Azumarill. I feel like I'm always talking about the chances when we're opening up Pokemon. I don't know the chances, guys. Salvatore. Do you see something? Palafin. There's no way. There's Sizzle no way you got something else. Peed. There's no way. Or is there a way? It's not an A spec. It's Not a grandpa. grandpa. Wow. Okay, so that is all of the packs, guys. All right, guys, so that is the pack opening for today for the Temporal Forces. So we've got my pulls here with the Iron Leaves, Iron Crown, and Farrah Giraffe. Or Farrah... Yeah, it is Farrah Giraffe. And then we've got Riley's single pull... And what are the chances it's a special illustration rare that is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, my goodness, that is awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, you know what? Quantity over quality, I don't know. Uh, we'll leave this one up to you because it's kind of a close one. So comment down below who you think won today's pack battle. And uh, yeah, that's all for today, guys. I thank you for tuning in as always. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.